Tuberculosis is actually the second leading cause of contagious death in the globe. Only AIDS kills more people. Now, when someone's infected and say they, they cough, they laugh, they even talk, all these germs go in the air, which can last for hours and contaminate other people. But you can't get tuberculosis by touching somebody that has it. Now, even if someone gets infected with these germs, they might not get the disease. This is because if their immune system is strong enough, it can fight it off. So, unfortunately, if somebody's immune system slips up for a little bit, the virus can kind of like attack, like a patient, a patient assassin. Okay, sort of like the herpes virus, because someone may have herpes but maybe dormant, but when they get sick, their immune system, their immune system slips up, it pops out. Now, the symptoms of tuberculosis really depend on where it's actually located in the body. Because believe it or not, it, it, it can actually spread from the lungs. Now, of course, it comes from the air, so it's going to first hit the lungs, and that's where the initial symptoms are going to be. So a classic symptom would, of course, be somebody that's coughing for a long period of time, like weeks, and perhaps they don't have any other symptoms like a, of a cold or something. That could be a, a good indicator of something, someone having this disease. Now, other indicators could, of course, be, say, coughing up blood and having pain in the whole chest area when breathing and inhaling and exhaling. Other very common ones would be constant fatigue, um, having like a fever, night sweats, chill, not wanting to eat anything. Those are all very popular symptoms. Now, if the disease spreads into the kidneys area, somebody could have blood in the urine or feces. And of course they could be having some pain when trying to urinate. That's what the symptoms would be. If unfortunately it gets to the brain area, it's very bad. It can actually cause swelling in the membranes that protect the whole brain region. It can bring about a headache, commonly. Uh, it can bring about confusion, coma, and of course the death. If, they get, if it reaches the bones, it can bring about joint irritation, destruction, really kind of weakens the bones and it can cause some pain, of course. And if it reaches the heart area, it can bring about inflammation around the, around the muscles um, that are connected with the heart. And this could, of course, hurt it, lead to some problems, and, of course, death, too. So to sum everything up. Tuberculosis is not a disease to be taken lightly. This is a killer out there. The only way to truly know if someone has it is to go down to a physician and take some tests. You can also know if you've ever been infected with a tuberculosis germ by having a tuberculosis skin test done at any time you want. Now, of course, the best way to treat the disease most people get antibiotics, but the best way to treat it is not to get infected in the first place. Okay, don't get it. Once someone becomes sick, their body tries to end up healing itself and actually ends up doing more damage too. So it's like a double-edged uh, sword. Okay, this is this is due to the inflammation, which creates uh, which hard harms the body. And when your immune system blasts little invaders out there, it creates some free radicals, which harms the body. And when you take medicine, it harms the body too. So just don't get sick. The best way to do that is to have a very, very strong immune system. That way, even if you do come in contact with someone who's highly contagious, you're not going to get a disease. Now, you can strengthen your immune system just like you can strengthen a muscle in your body. For starters, of course, eat a, a good diet. That's that's the key, right? Learn to cope with the challenges of life can definitely be helpful. For some strange reason, when we're stressed out, our immune system gets weaker. Maybe because our brain is so powerful, it uses up all this energy. I don't know. Of course, you want to get lots of sleep. Another one right there. Drinking tons of water helps flush out, flush out toxins in the body. Also keeps our mouth and the whole eyes clean, which repels germs. 
course, not smoking lots of cigarettes or drinking too much. And ensure you're getting all the nutrients you need. Now, I highly recommend a multivitamin because our food doesn't have the nutritional value like it used to. And lastly, there's just tons and tons of herbal remedies out there that really help your immune system and help your general health. To throw an idea out there, in a Harvard study, people who drank five cups of tea for two weeks had ten times the virus fighting interferon than people who just drank hot water. Now, interferon is great. It interferes with the virus' ability to replicate. That's why, why, that's why it's called that, interferon. And it's great for the immune system, great with, for tuberculosis. Other ideas throughout there could be like black human seeds, olive leaf extract, amazing, quercetin. There's just tons of other ones out there. Now, I highly recommend, of course, getting these herbal remedies from some type of supplements. The bad news with supplements is, for one, they're kind of confusing, right? There's a whole bunch of them out there. And a lot of government agencies, like the FDA in the United States, they don't really regulate them, which means they don't protect consumers from bad products out there that have contamination, mislabeling, and do more, do a bunch of harm. This is one of the reasons why I actually created a guide all about the supplement world and going out there and shopping for supplements. This guide goes over, of course, various herbal remedies. It goes over how to spot a good brand from a horrible, risky one, what you should take for different conditions, and a whole bunch of other really nifty information that can help you out when shopping for supplements. Now, I could easily charge for this guide, but I decided to make it completely free as a gift for enrolling in a, in a weekly video newsletter all about alternative health and, of course, supplements and staying healthy. Now, to view this free guide, all you got to do is simply click on the link directly below this video. Well, I hope I helped some people out there. I really want to thank you so much for watching. Have a great, awesome rest of your day and take care.